So this review is for the KitchenAid attachment versus the mock mill. So the KitchenAid, you have a little, like a screw down there. It's metal on metal. It grinds it very well, actually. Um, that dial right there just makes it finer or less fine, depending on what you want. Um, I always had it on the most fine you could possibly go. And it just goes how all the other KitchenAid attachments go. Um, you will have to make sure your own model will work for it. Um, but it's beautiful. You can put it in the pantry or under your um, cabinet if you're not using it, which is nice. Um, it stores very easily. Right here, we're going to compare speed and size versus the mock mill versus, and the KitchenAid. Um, the KitchenAid one is really simple. You put the attachment on, dump some grain in there, and make sure you put a bowl under it. The bowl is kind of tricky because with the KitchenAid stand, the bowl doesn't the KitchenAid bowl doesn't fit under the grain attachment without hitting the bottom, the base, I guess. So basically, um, what I do is I put a bowl upside down, and then I put another bowl on top of that one to catch all my grain, my flour, the freshly milled flour. Um, with the mock mill, you just open the lid. You put in your grain, making sure that you turn on your mock mill first. That is huge, unless you want to get your stones caught. So basically, what we're going to do is a little race. And I had to do it quickly because I only had two bowls. <laughs> so um, if you put the lid on, it's a little quieter on the mock mill, which is nice. So And then you just make sure that they grind away. And essentially, you can see here... In just a couple of seconds, I'll turn off the mock mill because it's done and the KitchenAid goes on for a while. They look, you know, obviously you have different views, but one looks nicer than the other one. Um, and then, so we eat, we got about a cup, a little bit more than a cup from the KitchenAid, but it's not enough to make a huge difference. Um, and it took quite a bit longer, at least three minutes longer than the mock mill. And the mock mill probably took a minute, if that even. So um, the textures from the KitchenAid is like a sand. Basically think of sand when you think of the KitchenAid texture, and that's on the finest. Um, and on the mock mill, it's kind of like a powdered sugar. It's light, it's airy, um, it's really, really nice. And so I definitely love the mock mill. Um, the 200 is faster than the 100, from what I understand. I don't have the 100, but it is faster. Um, I You can use the KitchenAid for bread. I've made bread with the KitchenAid attachment, um, or the grain from the attachment. I it I probably had it for at least a year, and it, it works fine. I just don't particularly care for it for like baking so cookies and cakes and it's just like the hall it doesn't get make ground enough for me so I was sifting it all the time and when you need four cups of flour it takes a while to sift that so that's why I really like the mock mill the mock mill it's done already I haven't made any like baked goods with it yet but um, the bread is really nice and fluffy um, the kitchen is really easy to use. As you can see, you just turn on, <laughs> put it in, and turn it on. Um, the mock mill is really easy. You just pour it, basically pour it in the hopper. And you can see right there, you just pour it in. And then you adjust your fineness on the side, which is super easy. Overall, I am really happy with this mock mill and um, totally buy it in a heartbeat again. So excited to learn how to make things with it.